What's that uh, external oil filter kit cost, Pedro? This thing? In case the customers are looking for one. Just want to buy it out of the pro shop? Well, you got them up there in the showroom. Eighty bucks, hundred bucks, I don't yeah, know. And does it go right into the oil pump? No, it's a filter. I know, but where does the plumbing go to? It goes back to the filter, one, one of the filter, one of the tank. You should maybe that chrome ass bolt back in here. Where'd that piece of crap come from? Junky ass bolt. Err. Okay, better now. Bolts of trash that come in. Okay, now we got room for the skid plate. If I use these bolts, you want to run the skid plate or not? We'll put it. We'll, we're going to powder coat it. The same as the back. The same as the swing arm. Same as so the frame. You want one under here? Yeah. Okay, I need a. I need two of your big fat washers you got. Two big fat ones. I'm taking this tool home with me, Tatro. Hundred bucks. Do you make these? The gym's tool. Very nice. I can show on the video what you're yeah. looking at, though. It's a gym's tool. That's rude. Not to people what you're talking about. 100 bucks. There, two fat well, Actually, it's probably more than that because a breaker bar, a snap on, that thing's probably 100 bucks by itself. So that's probably like 200 bucks. There. Well, yeah. you don't use it often, but. I don't need that big for a skid plate. I need something for a skid plate. I mean, you don't have the washers we need? I don't. Well, I have washers. I just don't have the what size fat. There. That's good plate level. It's bigger than what it needs to be, but it'll work. Where he is. What did I just say? It's bigger than what it's supposed to be, but it'll See, work. Fred likes fitness like this when he puts bikes together. No, I just. That's just. Art. Once you tighten them down, Petro, nobody will ever know. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you got three inch lock nuts? Chrome? I'm looking. Don't need them, you won't see them anyway. Yep. Yeah. Don't bottom. I'm trying to use these damn things. That must be why they're in here, because they're, they're the wrong size for anybody using them. I got this brand new lock nut with no locking device in it, Fred. See that, Fred? With no nylock in it? No, oh, that's terrible. Can't use that. That's Fred's favorite tool. You stuff it on it, pick it up, Fred. I think this is ready for the trash. I need another lock nut. I need one for your side over there. Okay, easy. That's not the box I have open. I need a plane. I didn't get the right one, so I have to get my own. Is this crook? It's 10 freaking o'clock. You, uh, I had a 1972 Sportster, and on the rocker boxes, I had a place out in Pacific Beach, Fleischer Products, engrave them. It said Fast Al on there. Oh, yeah. And every time I got pulled over, the first thing a cop would say, Fast Al, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea, right? Yeah, and then I had to sit on the curb while he checked my record and looked at this and looked at that. But it was fun. I'm just bringing all these things in this box. Maybe we'll find this one. Why do you find a transmission hardware, Fred? You mean like to bolt it down? Like to maybe put the thing on the bike, yeah. Okay, that one. Really Funny looking transmission in a 79. Late 79. What's all that on the top? Probably a cow pie. It looks like a cow took a dump, that's a cow pie. Yeah, I've never seen such a thing. Those stronger, Tatro? No. Is that a four speed or a five speed? Speed. Can't we get a uh, I mean, baker? The cow pie? Can't we get a baker coming this way, Tatro, for a 79? What do you think, Fred? If you get your VA, you might be able to. Do what? If you get your VA going with his VA, you might. Well, if I'd gone this far, I'd order a new trans. 
Dude, you're killing me, man. I just sold a damn five speed. I just sold my five speed. And I'd sit on the shelf for ten years. Hope you didn't give it away. No, I got my money out of it. The brand new six feet up there on the shelf in that white box. What what do you get? What's today's price? The good guy, family and friends price. There ain't one. I paid twelve hundred bucks for that thing. The thing twenty years old. Already. All right. Well, then it's probably twenty two hundred bucks. I didn't buy it in the last few years, and they were like four hundred dollars for trainers like they are now. What do they get for six six speed overdrive? That'd be sweet in this thing. You'd be all hunkered down nice and low. Foot pegs dragging. Where's my nut? French Fire nut. coming out of the pipes. My new nut. Brand. Ooh, this is pissing me off. Brand new with an overdrive. Wow. Are you going to pony up the money there, Alan? Well, I'm going to put it in my bike. Don't buy it, Fred. I'm going to put it in my bike. It won't fit your bike and it won't fit Fred's bike. Oh. There you go. What does it fit? That's what I figured. Soft tail. When he said, said six speed, I'm thinking, nah, it's probably not going to work. Well, it'll work, just in case, because I can make it work. I've done it. Get through the welding, low machining. What do you think the swing arm off? Bolt on hardtail, it'll fit right in there. The swing arm's in the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Swing arm's in the way. What's in the way, Tatro? Swing arm. Oh. Soft tail turn the bolt right in and take the swing arm out. Well, let's make it a rigid. Bolt Talk. that rigid on there. Taco makes the adapter plate. Is that going to work? Or do I need to go grade 8? Is it long enough? It's freaking long enough. Longer. Where's the original right, bolt? Look how thick the plate is. I don't need much room for a bolt. you got no nut, no lock, no nothing. It is pretty short, isn't it? Yes, it is. You need at least a quarter inch more. Yeah, I'm trying it's to use stuff I already own. Why? I don't know. I'm fishing pork job that's been in there. I'm going to find some... Where's the uh, Fred Stone stuff now? I heard that. Looks like we got room for clearances in here. Clearance clearance. Clearance got well, something come out of there. Of course, I don't even know where that's at anymore. We don't know. It's, it's somewhere. You think we can do anything about these high flow lines? Uh, They're kidding, right? Not in here. That's what they come with. They go in one, th not even one thread. There's your, there, there's the magic of chrome, huh? How many mils thick is chrome? It's more than what we need. I was gonna say. Eighth of a turn. The lines go this way. We're okay. Yeah, those are supposed to go back to here. So you got the one going forward here. Mm -hmm. You can't see with the camera, that's your eyeball. Oh, well. So that goes forward in the filter and it comes out of the filter and goes to the tank. Oh, okay, that's easy. How enough. far are we going with this damn thing tonight? I'm, well, I was trying to get the tranny in there and get it ready to go, you know. It's... Get the pipes on it well, at least. Let me put these bolts in for now. We're just mocking it up for now. We'll get... No, you have to get the whole thing in there. I gotta get a sprocket. The frickin'. They don't make a sprocket, I have to make it. Well, then I had to work for now. No more. Are you working tomorrow, Fred? See, what's this say? It says uh, V twin. What year? I don't know. 73 to 83. What year's that wheel? 2006. So it doesn't fit. Wow, chrome. Boy, that is nice. So this is. Instead of 51 tooth, it's 43 tooth. So can we light up So there? now we have the gearing of a six speed without doing a stupid ass six speed in it. That'll gear that pig up. He lowered the bike so the chain is the primary out, so now you can keep the sprocket small in front because we'll gear it up back here. Nice. But I have to bore this out to fit the Euro wheel because this is a quarter inch smaller, a couple hundred thousand smaller than what it needs to be. I'll be darned. So now i got to put this in a chuck over there and Well, you could do that. That's nothing. Two, four, six, seven. Now, seven doesn't equal to six, does it? So that means I can't hold it from the inside of here. 
So that means I have to go in and put it in a, in a mill, clamp this pig down. I got to bore this out on center to fit on your hub. Then we can put this on there and run it. Wow, nice. Almost a bolt on. At least the bolt pattern is the same. That'll go right in there then. Then we got to see if the chain line lines up because this is not a, the right bike. Now the other problem is this is actually wrong too because this is a soft tail wheel. This pipe might actually take a flat sprocket on it. Brad, this might be a flat sprocket. Not a... Depends on the offset of that tranny. Get the stock off dry soft primary cover. Did Mario make the deal on that lower end last night? No, he didn't make no deals. Yeah, this is good. Being a soft tail wheel, it's made for a belt drop. You might have to run a flat sprocket instead of a dish sprocket like stock. A couple hundred, a couple hundred thousand difference, and this is a hundred fifty thousand different. You have to mock that up some more. So maybe we'll run a forty tooth racing sprocket back there instead of that chrome plated steel crap. And run aluminum back there. Okay. Whatever. You know what's best. I have to buy one now. Really? Gotta buy something else? Woohoo! Keep the ticket open. You buy something else? We'll have to go hunt one down, see if the company's still in business and makes those racing sprockets. Boy, that's pretty nice. 31 tooth. That'll fit, Fred. That'll gear it up. That'll be like an eight speed. Fred that'd, be like will, a, that'd be like a triple overdrive. Fred's <laughs> mustache will be in the wind with that. You know, you could break the speed limit in low gear. <laughs> be a little slow off the line like my race bike, but once you got it wound out and low, it started going pretty good after that. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger in the hub, so it'll work. How about that, Fred? Put that on there. Are you having fun? At my expense. I gotta find the offset. Let me get the tranny out of the bike, so but I think that's what we're gonna need. Where's your high gear at? worn out. Get a new one coming. Well, I don't know if Fred's got enough money. Sure he does. Yeah, the VA's paid for it. What are we going to use for the, uh, the sprocket, Fred? I don't know. Where's this? There's no sprocket in there? No. Got a worn out space, so you want a new one? Nice. No, I mean... Yep. Yeah. I guess the answer is yes, I do. How big of a tar you want to run? Big. Just enough to get by. This is driving up the wall. Look at all these damn horses, and none of them, now I don't know why they're all in here, because none of them are the right size. So I ended up in this box here. Either too big or too small. A spacer. Just a really annoying. Okay, so too thick. You want a sprocket on here? Here you go. 
good spot to be doing that. I got an offset one. Probably not clear the bike, the frame though, of the chassis. Okay, so here. Fred, this won't fit in here. How is it that I got somewhere to I have to shit disassemble the tranny. How much should I charge to take the lid off? All by the hour. And so much crap and none of it. Fred complains a lot. That light went at 150 if you had a primer that cleared. And you have a big socket over there behind you. Stop, drop, left, behind your butt. Open the drawer up. This one? No, open the drawer up, two down. One of those. See why we cut this down? Because we have no clearance in here. Gotcha. Left-handed threads? Maybe. See how I figured that out? Fred's pretty smart. Get an offset on that. I'm ready to race now. Where's your primary cover? Here. I need the hardware to tie this down too. You don't go too far. Hmm? Insert. No. You had it close though. I barely had the damn thing in my hand. Why don't you put the holes in the right spot? Boy, that's a neat setup. Is that enough clearance for a chain? I think so. That doesn't appear to be. What's going on there? It's the sprockets convex. Sprockets well, there goes your 160 tire option, unless you do a different primary. Open. Bell drive. Well, you have to do Get it thing. ordered. You just have to do a, a, a dish to do a, an FXB primer instead of a FX. Get to a tool deck. I told you it wouldn't fit. Why don't you just cut a freaking big old butter off the. Uh, why don't you show them why you can't do that, Fred? Get out the die grinder. Huh? Yeah, get my Dremel out and cut it. Yeah, get a Dremel out. So you got that all polished and now we can't use it. How does that not surprise me? Typical, huh? Can't use this. Use this. Uh, we'll be back. It's been about an hour since we shut the film off. So. Right. 